been in, uh, been enjoying the new song. Uh, how you feeling? Oh man, uh, I'm a lot better than I was a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did so, I see? You had viral meningitis. I did. Yeah, out of nowhere, started getting a really bad headache. And you know, over the course of like six days, I was trying different, you know, standard migraine things, and just kept getting worse. And got to the point where I just the pain was like a ten. The wife took me to the emergency room. After four days of other tests, they finally figured out what it was. So. Jeez. Um, I was in the hospital for eight days. That's scary. Yeah, it was very scary. It was the worst, uh, definitely the worst week I've ever had as far as pain goes. Yeah, and this was what? I don't, I don't wish it on, on anyone. Yeah, like right before the holidays and everything, right? Yeah, yeah, it was the yeah 16th or 17th. Uh, we were actually supposed to go to New Orleans for my parents' 40th birthday on the 18th, which is where they honeymooned 40 years ago. So I know the date well because we had the miss the trip, obviously, and so did everyone else. Well, I'm glad to hear you're better and uh, and just in time for you to set up an album. So yeah, yeah as yeah, it were. Right. So what souvenirs? It's coming out. When's it coming out? Uh, I believe it's March 23rd or 24th, whatever that Friday is. Yeah, so not not too far. Not yeah, too far. Over two months. And so far, we've heard this song "New Year," and it what just what a beautiful song. I mean, what a great song. Thank you. It kind of caught me by the surprise. In fact, I, I saw your quote on it that you wrote on Facebook. It was you said it was one of your favorite songs ever written. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, it was. It was. It was sort of written. So, some of my favorite songwriting is when I kind of think outside the box and don't necessarily try to do like a kind of a classic um, formula of you know verse, chorus, etc. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's one of those um, stanza songs where it just kind of ends on every stanza ends on this line and the line that I have with you know the new year new song is the same mystery and it was written uh, about uh, we're going to do year's party every year at our house and it's kind of wasn't written at new year's but it was written thinking about that particular event and just you know obviously there's a lot of imagery about like the fire bourbon on our breath and thinking about all the people in the party and the life and the good and the bad that's happening in people's lives year in and year out and it's kind of a cycle of Things changing, some getting better, some getting worse, and just having to kind of digest, you know, getting older. And it was just a, a more honest. I mean, I, I think all my songwriting's tried to always try to be really honest, but I think it came through. It just just felt very raw. A lot of the a lot of the imagery for me felt raw and personal, and uh, but also sort of universal. So yeah, and I think that's why I connected to it. I mean. Because you obviously were talking about something specific, but I think it's something that we've all lived or or know about. I mean, not to get too direct, you know, into the lyrics here, but you know, you the same great mystery. I mean, what no, do you see, what, what do you see that mystery as? What is that mystery? It's the mystery of like, <laughs> you know, the great question of like, what is what is life for? How do we make sense of, and you know, what is the meaning of life? Um, I, I grew up in a, in a sort of conservative. Christian background, and you know, if, if I, if my mom asked me what was in life, and I told her I didn't know, which I, we we had had this conversation. It's you know, it's sort of uh, upsetting to her that I say I don't know, you know, because she's like, well, you do know, you know, you you were taught growing up what the meaning of life is. It's like, yeah, well, that's what I was taught, and then that's different than what I actually think and feel, you know. Um, so for me, there's like a lot of jumbled thoughts about who we are as people and our re- relationship to each other and our uh, responsibilities that we have to each other, whether it's, you know, in families or communities or nations, you know, whatever it is, uh, that's, that to me is something that weighs heavy on, on my thoughts pretty much all the time. Kind of that friction between change and the same old questions that we kind of continue to wrestle through. You can wrestle through in different ways, but at least for me, they don't want to go away. I mean, it's a good time to be asking those questions, too. In fact, when I listen to the rest of your record, you know, there's a a few things that recur in there, uh, fight for love. And then in Wild World, you've got that line with love is all we've got to give away. Yeah. It's, it's definitely something on your mind there. You know, it's a, it's a running mantra. It's a good mantra. A lot of these songs are written kind of through the lens of the kind of particular American story that we're all living in right now, which is, I think at least I see sort of as um, a tragedy, a tragic story. And interestingly enough, those three songs that you mentioned were all recorded either on election day or the day after. Oh, wow. And uh, Wild World was recorded the morning of the election. New Year was recorded the afternoon and evening of the election. And Fight for Love was the next morning. Those were all songs that we had planned on recording anyways, but the timing just felt appropriate, especially those 
those three, and there's other songs that I think touch on those things as well, but those were the ones that I think are the most kind of particularly appointed for this season, you know, as far as songwriting goes. I'm looking forward to the whole record coming out, uh, living with it some more, and, and glad to hear you're feeling better. Uh, through all of this, <laughs> Thanks, man. I get, appreciate it. Get rid of too. all that before uh, before it really got rolling, anyway. So yeah, absolutely. Well, Drew, it was really nice to talking to you, and hopefully, we'll see you in Louisville sometime. Yes, it's good. We're, we're we're coming through sometime in the spring. If you're interested, obviously, we'd love to have you out. Yeah, we'll be out there. All so. right, sounds good. Thanks, Kyle. All right, thanks for talking. Bye. All right, bye.